Okay, so get ready because today's deep dive is going to be about something, uh, let's just say it's a little different. Okay. We're going deep into the world of, well, hmm, bathroom humor. <laughs> right. Sounds intriguing. Yeah. And you know what? As silly as it sounds, the source material we're diving into today, it's actually surprisingly relatable. We've got this firsthand account, someone's epic battle with a, well, a stubborn deposit, let's just say. Okay. Interesting. And what really struck me was just how much humor they found in the whole experience. You know, it's funny you should say that because I think these types of personal accounts, they they often tell us a lot about, you know, how we relate to these experiences, the ones we yeah. usually, well, we usually see as taboo or just embarrassing. Yeah, totally. And yeah. in this case, the author, they just dive right in describing this. Pretty massive and unexpected bowel movement, but they do it with this sense of like, amusement. They even compare a nuggety bit, their words not mine, to a prawn. Oh, wow. And I gotta say, that really painted a picture for me. Yeah, that, that's quite the visual. I can see why that stuck with you. But I also think it's interesting, their choice to use humor, even when they're describing something. Well, let's just say not so glamorous. I yeah. feel like there's a self-awareness there that's pretty relatable. Totally agree. And of course, first flush. Totally useless. Oh, I can imagine. This thing is not going anywhere. So our resourceful author, they decide to get creative. They grab a, get this, a Christmas tree foot. A Christmas tree foot. Wow. Yeah, you've heard that right. That's that's some ingenuity right there. Right. Talk about problem solving. But uh, it doesn't mm. end there. Multiple flushes, multiple attacks with this Christmas tree foot. But this stubborn mass, it's not budging. Oh, no. In fact, things get even worse. They end up with what they describe as... Uh, shittiness stuck to the Christmas tree foot itself. Holy. You can practically feel their disbelief just growing with each failed attempt. It's like a good reminder that sometimes even the simplest things, they can yeah. just turn into complete chaos. Absolutely. But you also got to admire their perseverance. You know, like they could have given up, but they were determined to overcome this, Let's, this obstacle. They were absolutely determined. And thankfully, after what can only be described as an epic showdown, victory is achieved. Finally. The author even calls it a never before fight, which I think really emphasizes just how absurd the whole situation was. Yeah. And that brings us back to the humor. It's like by finding that funny side, the author was able to reframe the whole thing. It's not just a struggle. It's the absurdity of it all. That's a really interesting way to look at it. It makes you wonder, like, if approaching tough situations with humor can actually help us cope better. It's definitely possible. I mean, there's a lot of research out there about the benefits of humor, especially when we're stressed. So as we flush this deep dive down the drain, so to speak, I think we're left with a pretty interesting question. When life throws us those uh, those little curveballs, how can we find the humor in it all? How can we keep things in perspective? That's something to think about, yeah. Definitely something to ponder. Thanks for diving in with me today. You're welcome. It's been interesting. Until next time.